Hello guys, welcome to Angry Stephanie TV. My name is Stephanie. On this channel, we do entrepreneurship, we do direct sales, and we do business coaching. In today's video, I'm going to teach you profitable business ideas you can do as a student. So if you like any of these business ideas and you want somebody to still give you um like um a business plan and all that just let me know in the comment section or oh, with these business ideas you still need somebody to give you in depth on how you can start this business let me know in the comment section i'm not an expert i'm not a guru but the little i know and i've done my research on i am going to share with you so if you are a student and you're looking for a business idea to start up here is it for you number one is content creation are you a student a university student and you want to show your life life in the university a day in my life in the university what i eat as a university student my room as a university student these are all content ideas for you if you are a student engage into content creation there are a lot of people that want to enter certain universities and they don't even know how to do it you can start how to look for admission in a university how to choose a course how to do this these are all ideas that as a student you can start content creation and then you sell it out and you make money Number two business idea you can do as a student is drop shipping. Do you know that every time you wear a dress, your students always ask your classmate or your classmate, where do you buy this your dress from? You can link them to where you buy that dress and the person that you bought a dress from, send the dress to them, you earn a commission. Are you a student? Every time you wear a dress, somebody asks you, where do you get this dress? Where do you get these shoes? Where do you get this earring? Where do you get this bag? You can start doing drop shipping with all those things and you make money. I know university students sometimes they can be so competitive that they want to have everything. Mm -hmm. Which means if you're a student and you can start drop shipping, you are going to earn a lot of money. Are you a student? Yeah, yeah, this video is for you. Sell a course online. How to get admission into the university. How to choose a course. This one is same like the first video, but this one will be a course that you're selling, you know. There are people that want to enter university for the very first time. They don't know how to go about, about it. You understand? So you are going to create a course on how to get into the university, how to look for your admission, how to submit, how to write your projects. You understand? This is a course that you can sell online as a student and you make money like cash. Another profitable business idea you can do as a student. I remember when I did a video that I went on, uh, for a youth camp and this question, a lot of people asked me, what business idea can I do as a student? This business idea, you know it is spend. You just need to get a camera or you can even rent a camera. Like Sunday days, you go to the beach, you go to any touristic site, you take pictures, you run, you watch those pictures, you come and give those pictures to your clients and you make money. Photography is what I'm talking about. So as a student, consider doing photography. That thing that every Sunday you go to the beach and you're opening your eyes at the beach without even having money in your pocket. It's not paying you. So next time you're going to the beach, rent a camera, go to the beach, take beautiful pictures of people, run, watch those pictures and deliver them back to those customers and you make money. Another business idea you can consider as a student, I've talked about this one before in one of my videos, is writing contracts for people. You see the thing that you know how to read and write, you have to make use of it. You can write tenancy agreement for people and they pay you. You can write contract, people want to buy land, they pay you. Somebody you want to travel to Canada and they need somebody to write a contract for them and sign it, they pay you. Yeah, so you can consider writing contracts for people and then people pay you. As a student, very easy. You just need your pen. Eh? You just need a pen, you need a paper, you sit down with the knowledge in your mind. You just write down, my name is Glanala. I hereby accept that I am signing this contract for, and they pay you. I have done that before when I was in form one and form two, and they paid me. One, that time I didn't even have anything in my head because they asked ask me how much they pay you. I say anything and they'll pay me 2,000. I used to write contract for people when they want to buy cocoa farm, I'll write contract. When people want to sell their land, I'll write contract and they'll pay me how much? 2,000 francs. By then when I was ignorant, it's not now that I have sense in my head, I'll be charging her like 20K or 30K. And imagine a week I can write like two or three contracts. That's money, a student. Another business idea you can consider doing it as a student is running errands. Now, this one, how you get customers is going to your church, going to gatherings. You tell people if you are stay at home or if you're a working class woman, you don't like going to the market. Like for me now, since this year started, I'm not sure I've gone to the market to buy food stuff to come and cook. Why? Because I consider market days things like here in Cameroon or in Boya to be precise. Our main market day is a Sunday day, and that's Sunday I want to rest. It's just that I have 
an assistant. If not, I'll be going to the market. So you can run errands for people. You can go to the market, buy their food stuff. Just make sure you are honest. You can go to the market, you buy people's food stuffs. You can even go to bush market. You buy cocoa yam, you buy plantain, you buy red oil for people, and they pay you. So running errands for people, they will pay you better. They want they will suck you quick, quick. Because they will give you money to go and buy uh, cocoa yam for 2000 you go and buy for one five, and they will just suck you. So this one, you need to make sure you are very honest to them to be able to do this business and make money. Another business idea you can consider doing as a student, if you are not lazy, but if you are lazy, please stop watching and just go. If you are not lazy, it's house cleaning. There are people that you can take contract to clean their house every weekend and they pay you. And when I mean paying you, they pay you a huge amount of money. Of recent, I saw a cleaning company in Puya. And when I tried to con uh, contact them, the amount of money they charge to clean just... My house is very small. My house is not that big. Just three rooms and the rest. The amount of money they charge me to clean my house, I was like, ah! So you can start cleaning for people. Weekend, you go to people, you wash their dresses, you iron them, they'll pay you. You clean their house, you clean their kitchen, you even fetch them water, they'll pay you. So start cleaning people's houses and they'll pay you. Another business idea you can consider um, doing is selling of handmade crafts. Let me explain. Back in school, we used to have people come to school with thread and needle. They were so scared. They will and um they need skirt and they'll sell that skirt. They need cap and they sell it. So these are handmade crafts. Some people back, they do um, um basket, basket, flower basket, flower jar, and they sell it. These are crafts. So if you're a student and you know somebody who is making these um, hand crafts and all that, you can take products from this person and then you resell them. A lot of people these like using handmade crafts. So you can do that and then you make a lot of money. Another business idea you can do as a student is to resell textbooks. Hand, um, hand out, yes. Textbooks and hand out. If you have people in your class that need a particular textbook, you know, teachers, a textbook will cost 10,000 francs, but your teacher wants to sell that textbook for 15,000 francs. So you have to be ahead of your teacher. You understand? <laughs> You have to go to a, any company that sells textbooks. You take textbooks from there. Instead of coming to sell it for 15000 you come and sell it over 25000 or even 13000 among your course meet. Because in class, sometimes the teacher has power. But when the price is expensive, the student has power. So you can be telling your friends, you buy a textbook from a teacher for 15000 mm -mm, I can sell the textbook to you for twelve five. You understand? Instead of you making 5000 francs gain, you make just 2500 francs gain. You can take a hand out and then mm -hmm, this one, if I if I had sense back then when I was in school, I would really make a lot of money. There are handouts that our teacher used to come and sell those handouts for 2,000 francs. Best believe me, for the copy of those books, just 500 francs. I would have buy one handout and then I would go and do like 20 photocopies and I will come and sell it for one five. I would make a lot of money. So you can take handouts, go and photocopy them into a book, into copies, and then you resell those copies as a student and you make money. Another business idea you can consider doing as a student is to sell cloth, shoe, hair. See, students like to always buy cloth, buy shoes. You see that small one that their parents will give them that they should use it as a feeding money. No, they want to buy cloth, they want to buy shoes. So if you are an enthusiastic student, you want to make money. You can sell clothes, you can sell shoes. Just go to the market, you buy these second-hand dresses, you come and wash them, you iron them, you perfume them, yes. And then you just resell them back among your classmates, among your classmates, and you make a lot of money. By then, one person will buy, the person will bring their friend, the friend will bring another friend, the friend will bring another friend. Like, somebody will bring somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody, and that's how you generate a lot of money. It might not be much, but in a day, if you can sell two or three dresses, and you make even his... 1-1k from it. That's about 3k in a day instead of just sitting and say I don't have anything to do. So consider reselling cloth, shoe and hair. You make money. And finally, the last business idea that you can do as a student is to do delivery. But this one, you have to work with your timetable and see how everything goes. You can apply to any supermarket. Any supermarket. Of recent, I bought some things from a supermarket here in Boya. And it was a student that came to deliver those things to me. And I was like, you're a student, you're going to school. It was like, no, my timetable from this time to this time, I'm free, so I can do delivery. So you can consider doing delivery. 
for any supermarket, I don't want to mention names here because I don't know how they operate, but you can apply it to any supermarket, you do delivery. When a customer buys and sits in their house, you take their food, you go and deliver it. In as much as you're not going to do what I order versus what I got, because sometimes people will buy stuff and then delivery agents will change those things along the road or they'll reduce them and then go and give half. In as much as you are honest as a student, you are going to make a lot of money. So if you are a student, let me know which of these business ideas resonate with what you have been thinking in your mind to do in the comment section. I can still do a detailed video to teach you on how you can go about it and make money.